Hello, my name is Kathleen Lisson. I'm a lymphedema therapist and author of Stress Reduction for Lymphedema. And I wanted to share a few things about the book with you today. Uh, this book is not just for the person with lymphedema. I really wrote this book for the entire family that surrounds the person with lymphedema as well. Because whether the lymphedema came from a cancer diagnosis, a cancer journey, or primary lymphedema, stress is present for the entire family. And the stress reduction practices in this book can be used to reduce stress for the entire family as well. So what specifically am I talking about? I looked in the literature, in the published literature, and found so many opportunities for us, so many research articles that found that different practices, different stress reduction practices, were actually effective at improving quality of life, at reducing lymphedema symptoms for the people in their study. So I included them in this book, so specifically TISO. It's a great little movement practice that would be wonderful to share if you had smaller children. Like, hey, let's come and do TISO with mommy or daddy or your aunt or uncle. Uh, for older kids, for adults, for cousins, the members of the extended family, Think of the short mindfulness practices. Think of Qigong, Tai Chi, yoga practices. Any kind of mindful movement in the book would be great opportunity for you to say, hey, you know, let's get up off the couch. Let's share this stress reduction practice. And why is the sharing the practice so important? Because support is so important. So let me read from the book. Um, it's gonna be page 149. And it's a section called Community and Self-Efficacy. Nurses know that a lack of support from loved ones is a barrier to the patient's self-efficacy. An article by Farley, published in the journal Nursing Open, states that social connectedness and support produce greater self-efficacy and interventions are limited in some patients when the family is opposed to change or do not support the patient. So what is self-efficacy? Self-efficacy can improve quality of life and enable people to more effectively manage their chronic disease. Farley states that self-efficacy is a cognitive process where through environmental influence and social influence, individuals learn new behaviors that affect their ability to improve future events. Why is community such an important part of self-care? Farley states that several reviewed articles identified a lack of support, either formal or informal, as being a barrier to self-efficacy and positive patient outcomes. Um, I can attest personally to the powerful effect of sharing a mindfulness intervention with someone who's going through their cancer journey. Uh, my earliest introduction to mindfulness was actually when I was 10 years old and it was attending a biofeedback session with my mom as she was going through her breast cancer journey. So you can definitely share mindfulness practices with children and your whole family, the loved ones, the extended family, and coming together to nurture that person with lymphedema can really give them a powerful feeling of support from their family, from their friends, from their loved ones. So I encourage you to pick up a copy of Stress Reduction for Lymphedema and share it with the person that you love has lymphedema and share it with their family as well. Thank you so much.